we are gonna absolutely ruin my hair today with pink hair dye. Hi guys and welcome to DIY Hair School. And I'm just joking, we're not gonna ruin my hair, but we are going to put pink in my hair today. And I'm gonna show you the way that I like to put a little splash of color in my hair that is super temporary and always washes out completely for me. You know that if you have platinum blonde hair, it is a really long road to get to this color. And once you have this color, you really don't wanna to do too much to it because you don't wanna let it go. And when you dye over your platinum blonde hair, it can be really hard, if not completely impossible, to get that blonde back without damaging your hair in the process. Sometimes we get really bored of having the same color all the time. I know I have had this shade of blonde in my hair for almost eight years now, and sometimes I'm just feeling like spicing it up a little, but I know better than to make any significant changes that are gonna be hard to get out because I know that really quickly, like most blondes, I'm just gonna want my white platinum blonde locks back. So what I do is I use the Celeb Luxury Viralites Color Wash Shampoo, and I just use, I only use the pastels in my hair. I have used the vibrant, more vibrant colors in some of my clients' hair, but I've only used the pastels in my hair, and these always wash out completely. I have not had any of these leave a stain in mine or any of my clients' hair. Now the one time I wouldn't recommend using these to color your hair is if you want the color to last a really long time because these definitely won't last a really long time. They aren't intended to last a really long time. If I washed my entire head with this, it would come out pink like my nails, but within four to six washes, it would pretty much be completely gone out of my hair. However, if I kept washing my hair with this every day, it would stay until I stopped washing my hair with it and then it would slowly fade away but this definitely doesn't last as long as it would if you use an actual temporary hair dye on your hair. That would take a lot more and it would last a lot longer because these are really designed for people who dye their hair to use to help maintain their color and to reduce fading. But I think they are a great way for people with blonde hair who don't wanna to commit to a big change for a long time to have some fun. So let me show you how I add a pop of color to my hair with the Viralites by Celeb Luxury, and this one is their Pastel Pink Color Wash. So you can go in and put this on dry hair. I personally prefer to put it on wet hair because I don't like the color to take too vibrantly. I like it to be very, very subdued and very pastel. So putting it on wet hair will make it less intense. Putting it on dry hair is gonna make it last longer and it's gonna make the color more intense. So first, I'm gonna wash my hair. So I just went in with my regular shampoo and conditioner and just gave my hair a quick shampoo. Just to note that if you are going to use this on your entire head and you wanna just make your whole head pink or blue or whatever color you choose, you can just do that directly in the shower. You can just wet your hair and then use this after I would shampoo my hair once to get it clean with a regular shampoo and then go in with this. You wouldn't have to come out and do it extra on the side like I'm going to, but I'm not putting it all over my entire head. I like to just section out and do little pops of color as opposed to my entire head. So that would be up to you. You don't have to do it like I'm gonna do it now. You could just lather your entire head up. Just make sure you get it evenly throughout your entire hair. If you just take a big glob of the shampoo and stick it on top of your head and rub it into your roots, then your roots are gonna be the most pink and your ends would be less pink, but if you wanna make sure it's even, you really wanna make sure you take sections of hair and evenly distribute the color all the way through your hair. But that's gonna be something you can play around with. And honestly, these colors are so temporary and so much fun that you can really experiment and see what works best for you and see what you like. If you have followed me for a while, you know that I rarely ever brush my hair when it's wet because your hair is much more susceptible to damage when it is wet but this is one of those times that i will brush my hair when it's wet because i need my hair nice and evenly brushed out in order for me to section it effectively and do what i want to do today so we are brushing our wet hair today so everyone's always asking me at what point would i choose to brush my hair wet instead of just going in with the blow dryer or letting it air dry and this is one of those times that i would brush my hair wet I'm just gonna make sure that my hair is parted 
in the right spot where I want it to be parted. So I like to wear my hair most often in a middle part. So for the purposes of the color blocking today, I am going to do a center part. And then I'm just going to section out the hair that I want to be pink and clip all the other hair up and out of the way. So I want just a very tiny money piece. I want it literally like Scandinavian hairline thin. I do, don't want a big chunk. The more hair you take from the front, the bigger the stripe is going to be if you're going for a money piece. And really what I want is I want this effect where the pink is underneath and the rest of my hair is still going to kind of fall over top of it. So even that little corner is probably too much. So we'll just take that out, continue around the hairline. I'll take a little bit more from my temple area because I want the color to pop a little bit more there. And then I'm going to just scoop down and behind my ears down to the nape of my neck. And I'm going to take that entire section out there. And then I'm just going to take all of the rest and I'm going to clip it out of the way. And then, I, and then I'm just gonna repeat that on the other side. There we go. And the only hair that should be out is the hair that you want to color at this point. If any other hair comes out, you want to make sure you've clipped it back because this is going to make your life a lot easier in making sure you get the color exactly where you want it. Okay, so I am going to wear gloves because this will stain your hands or your nails. And even though my nails are already pink, I don't want them to change. I like to keep my nails looking nice. I am probably one of the only hairstylists that I know that always has nice nails and never has stains on my nails because I am religious about gloves. I don't like stained nails and I don't like stained hands. So a good pair of gloves will protect your hands from getting color on them. And this doesn't have to be fancy. You can put it on with a brush if you want. Honestly, I find that just gets like way more fiddly than necessary and makes it way more complicated. This is really not that hard. Really don't need to get out a bowl and a brush for this. I just take a little bit at a time. Robert, you don't want to emulsify it too much because you don't want it to get all sudsy and soapy. It is shampoo. So if you rub it around a lot in your hands, it can start to get soapy. So the more you emulsify the color, the more you're gonna have activated those color molecules and the less color is gonna actually deposit onto your hair. So I suggest not overworking it. sit for too long because again I like it to not last very long at all but the longer that you let it sit on the longer it's gonna last so if you want it to last a maximum amount of time leave it on for half an hour for an hour just like paste it up I honestly only leave mine three to five minutes because I really don't want it to last long at all that's just my preference but you do you you leave it on as long as you want 
it's just shampoo with a little bit of depositing color on it. It's not harmful. The shampoo is a little drying, kind of like using a purple shampoo, but as long as you're using it sparingly and occasionally, I wouldn't worry too much about it drying out your hair significantly. So again, you can experiment and do whatever is going to work for you. So the pink is all rinsed out after just about three minutes. You can see how pink it is even just after three minutes. And I didn't shampoo my hair again. I shampooed my hair before I put the pink in. I didn't shampoo it when I rinsed the pink out because my hair is already clean. If you shampoo after you put the color in, you're just gonna remove a little bit of the color while you shampoo. It's not the end of the world, but it's just gonna make it last even less time. So I did not shampoo, but I did add a little bit of conditioner just because I wanna close that cuticle back down. Even though I didn't emulsify the pink shampoo into my hair, it still will raise the cuticle a little bit. So if you don't condition after, your hair will probably feel a little bit more dry and rough than if you condition. So I rinsed and then I conditioned, I rinsed the conditioner and then here we are. And I'm just gonna style my hair and show you what it looks like. Today I'm using the Puff Me Volumizing Mousse by Design Me. And then I am using Insta Volume Volumizing Elixir, which is a leave-in conditioner and it's heat protectant, UV protection, and it's just gonna help my hair be soft and shiny and protected from my heat styling. pink and yeah I love it I always love the feeling of that pop of color and it's just something a little different than always the exact same white blonde hair but I know that in just a week or two my white blonde hair will be back and I won't have to fight and struggle to get this color out of my hair which I love so I hope that helps guys I hope you have some fun with your hair and you try out some fun colors on your hair as well just a note about the pastel colors if your hair isn't as blonde as mine the pastels might not show up as well in your hair if your hair is more of a golden blonde you're definitely gonna want to go with more of the hot pink or vibrant shades. The pastels really only work well on level 10 hair and above, maybe level nine, but they definitely won't be as bright on a level nine blonde as they are on a really bright level 10 blonde like myself. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see if you have any questions I can answer for you. Bye.